There's a place on Earth where stone giants keep watch over an endless sea, whispering tales of a time long forgotten. Easter Island, a remote jewel in the vast Pacific Ocean, is home to these silent sentinels. Known as the Moai, these monumental statues stand as stoic reminders of a civilization that once thrived on this isolated island. These stone guardians, some towering over 30 feet tall and weighing in at a staggering 75 tons, are a testament to the ingenuity of their creators. Yet the creation and transportation of these massive figures have long puzzled historians and archaeologists alike. Theories abound from extraterrestrial intervention to the use of complex rope systems and sledges. The intrigue and mystery surrounding the Moai add to the island's allure, drawing inquisitive minds from around the globe. So how did these colossal stone guardians come to be? The answer lies in the rich history of the island. To understand the silent stone sentinels, we must voyage back to the time of their creation. Imagine the Pacific Ocean, vast and seemingly infinite, stretching out in all directions. Somewhere in the middle of this aquatic expanse, around the 12th century, a group of intrepid Polynesian seafarers crossed the ocean to find a new home on a remote, uninhabited island. This was the birth of the Easter Island civilization. On their arrival, the settlers found an island teeming with life. Palm forests provided timber, and the fertile volcanic soil was ideal for farming. Seabirds, fish, and seals offered ample sources of protein. The settlers thrived in this unique ecosystem, their population growing and their culture flourishing. Central to this culture were the Moai, gigantic stone figures that towered over the landscape. Carved from the island's volcanic rock, these statues are believed to have represented deified ancestors, their silent presence a constant reminder of the people's spiritual beliefs. They were an integral part of the islanders' religious and social practices, serving as protectors and symbols of authority. But a question that has puzzled historians for centuries is how these colossi, some weighing as much as 80 tons, were transported from the quarry to their final locations. Some theories suggest the islanders used a system of ropes, ramps, and sledges, while others propose that the statues were walked into place using a rocking motion. The exact method remains a mystery, a testament to the ingenuity and determination of the Easter Island people. However, this thriving society eventually faced a decline. Deforestation, overpopulation, and depletion of resources led to societal collapse. The once bustling island became a shadow of its former self, the Moai standing as silent witnesses to the rise and fall of a civilization. The history of Easter Island is a testament to human ingenuity and resilience, a story written in stone and preserved in the silent gaze of the Moai. Yet despite our understanding, Easter Island continues to be shrouded in mystery. A living testament to the audacity of human ambition and the resilience of nature, Easter Island is still an active site for archaeological research. Over the years, the island has unveiled numerous secrets, but each discovery seems to only deepen the enigma that surrounds this isolated paradise. Recent excavations have led to some fascinating revelations. For instance, it was discovered that the iconic Moai, the silent stone sentinels that guard the island, are not mere heads as they appear above the ground. Instead, they have bodies buried deep in the earth, a testament to the intricate craftsmanship of the Rapa Nui people. Yet the most intriguing aspect of the island's history remains the controversy surrounding its deforestation. Once a thriving forest, the island is now barren, its lush trees replaced by grasslands. Theories abound as to what led to this drastic transformation. Some argue that the islanders themselves, in their quest to transport the massive Moai, depleted the island's resources, leading to their own downfall. However, this theory is hotly contested. Critics argue that it paints an unfair picture of the Rapa Nui people as reckless and short-sighted. They propose alternative theories, such as the arrival of the Polynesian rat, which could have devastated the island's vegetation, or the impact of climate change, which could have led to reduced rainfall and subsequent soil erosion. We also cannot ignore the role of European colonizers, who brought with them disease and conflict, further destabilizing the island's delicate ecosystem. The truth, as always, probably lies somewhere in the middle, a complex interplay of human activity and environmental factors. Even with all our modern technology, Easter Island keeps its secrets well, leaving us to ponder the enigma of its stone giants. This tiny dot in the Pacific, with its silent stone sentinels and its resilient people, continues to captivate and confound us, reminding us of the indomitable spirit of humanity and the enduring mystery of our past.
As we leave the silence of the Stone Watchers behind, their stories echo in our minds. Stories of a civilization that thrived and faltered on a remote island, carving out a unique space in the annals of human history. We've delved into the rich tapestry of Easter Island's past, pondered over the enigmatic Moai, the silent sentinels that guard the shores, their purpose and construction a testament to human ingenuity and perseverance. We've journeyed through time, exploring the island's intriguing history, the rise and fall of its inhabitants, and the mysteries that still shroud this far-flung piece of land in the Pacific Ocean. The echoes of the past still resonate here, whispering tales of human triumphs and tragedies. In the end, Easter Island serves as a powerful reminder of the triumphs and tragedies of human history, a lesson etched in stone and guarded by the silent sentinels of the sea.